This is the funeral of a billionaire, but his children don't show sadness on their faces and complain about the rain. The eldest son pours his father's ashes, and suddenly there's a loud noise that scatters the ashes. It turns out the grandson arrived to attend the funeral. He steps out of the car wearing sunglasses, holding a cigarette, and is followed by his friends. When his mother sees him, she scolds him for being late, but he doesn't care. After the funeral, the children gather cheerfully, bringing their own teams of lawyers to divide their father's inheritance. Unexpectedly, when the lawyer reads the will, they don't receive a penny. The eldest son loses patience, and the second daughter leaves in annoyance. The grandson was excluded from the inheritance because he had a tense relationship with his grandfather due to rumors that he caused his father's early death. He never expected to receive any inheritance, so he prepares to leave when he sees everyone else has gone. However, at this moment, the lawyer stops him and says that the grandfather left a video for him. Irritated, he sits down and puts his feet on the table. The grandfather says in the video, it's all my fault, I mishandled family matters. I'm sorry for you. To make up for it, I'm giving you a super gift. There are six gifts, each better than the previous one, but you must complete the tasks before receiving them. You can't give up halfway or else you get nothing. The butler hands Jason a plane ticket to the countryside. Hearing that he needs to complete all the tasks, Jason is about to give up. But when he returns home, he tells his girlfriend about it, and she encourages him, saying he can earn a lot of money. Jason thinks, who wouldn't want to have a lot of money so early in life? The next morning, he goes to the airport, follows the instructions, gets off the plane, and there is the grandpa's friend Nick, who picks him up and takes him to a farm. The next day, Jason refuses to get out of bed, but Nick manages to wake him up. Double. Soon, Nick takes Jason to the farm and tells him to build a fence, offering him a dollar for each piece of wood he puts. After Nick walks away, Jason chooses to lie on the ground. Nick ignores him every day. Nick takes him to the farm punctually, and Jason gradually realizes that this is his test. He won't be able to leave this place. He starts hitting the stakes, but they end up crooked. When Nick sees this, he knocks down all the stakes with the truck and tells Jason to start over and do things calmly. Jason puts the stakes straight and firm and manages to make a beautiful fence. After completing the task, Nick takes him to the airport and says that after he managed to build the fence, he's ready for anything in life. Jason doesn't understand and asks about his gift. Nick just smiles. Feeling deceived, Jason returns and asks the lawyer if the work was the gift. Although Jason is irritated, he understands his grandfather's good intentions. He asks about the next gift, and the lawyer says he will find out when he gets home. Jason returns home, but instead of a surprise, the gift turns out to be a shock. His house has been emptied by the lawyer, and his own sports car has been towed. Later, when he tries to settle the bill at the restaurant with his girlfriend, his bank cards are blocked. Jason asks his girlfriend to pay, but she starts crying and accuses him of not loving her anymore. She takes advantage of the situation to run away. Jason tries to stay at a friend's house overnight, but everyone refuses him. Irritated, he breaks the cell phone. Now, Jason has nothing. Grandpa laughs and says that when you have nothing, you can see who your true friends are. He himself has experienced it two or three times and informs Jason that the next challenge is to find a true friend now that he has nothing.